A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 15th September, Sunday. On the front page you have, Government unveils package to boost exports, revive housing sector. So, Finance Minister has announced 50,000 crore incentive scheme in third set of stimulus measures for the economy. So, you can see the package for the export sector, uh, exports as such. New scheme for emission of duties or taxes on export products. You know, to incentivize exporters have been announced. The scheme is aimed at offsetting the amount exporters pay as duties on exports. So, revenue foregone by the government will be around 50,000 crore per year. Then second is electronic refund module for quick and automated refund of input tax credits to exporters by the end of September would be in place. And banks to be provided higher, in, higher insurance cover for working capital loans to exporters. So, banks will also be provided with the higher cover. So, that will also benefit the exporters getting work in, working capital loans. And fourth is RBI will modify priority sector lending norms to increase credit to exporters by 36,000 to 68,000 crores. So, this is also on agenda. Then for housing package, there is a special fund to provide last mile funding for unfinished housing units. Uh, so, this will, be, uh, this will cost government around 10,000 crores. And other investors will also put in roughly the same amount. So, this will be a special fund. Last mile funding for unfinished housing units. So, this will be for non-NPA, non-NCLT, affordable and middle income projects. Then, another point for housing projects is external commercial borrowing guidelines will be relaxed to facilitate financing for home buyers who are eligible under Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana. And interest on house building advances will be lowered. So, this is the package uh, you know, unveiled by the government to boost exports and revive housing sector. Then this is only Hindi can work to unite country, asserts Amit Shah. So, Home Minister Amit Shah has announced that uh, or made his viewpoint evident that one common language is vital for nation's global identity and only Hindi can work to unite the country. So, there is one language but many dialects and here you can see the language Hindi, percentage of speakers as such is shown here. So, you can see it's less than 50 percent Hindi speakers. Then we have Bengali speakers, Marathi, Telugu, Tamil, Gujarati, Urdu and others. And within Hindi too, you can see number of dialects which are there like Hindi. Then there is Bhojpuri, Rajasthani, Chhattisgarhi, Haryanvi, Magadhi and other dialects too. On page 8, you have New bill wants engineers to register, follow ethics code. So, this is regarding a bill which has been initiated, under uh, which will take effect under the ages of All India Council of Technical Education and the Ministry of Human Resource Development. So, first draft of this bill has been submitted to the Ministry of HRD. So, engineers will have to register with a body to be able to practice their trade now. And they have to follow the ethics code. On page 9, you have Narmada Dam at its highest level to overflow for first time. So, even uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is going to visit Gujarat on September 17, his birthday, to offer prayers here. So, its full 138.68 meter height will be reached for the first time and the Narmada Dam would overflow as such. So, this is a cause of concern. There, is, uh, there will be statewide celebrations. In uh, 2000, there were statewide celebrations in 2017 when this was uh, done, but now it is overflowing, which is a cause of concern. Then below you have right wing outfit defaces Babar Road signboard. So, this is in Delhi Babar Road. The a fringe right wing organization Hindu Sena has defaced the signboard. They call Babar a foreigner and an invader. And then here you have more whistling villages. MP stirs problem of plenty for Meghalaya. So it's actually in Meghalaya. There is this one village which was specifically uh, mentioned by a Rajya Sabha BJP member. And this is Kongthong village in Meghalaya. So he asked it to be included in UNESCO list of intangible cultural heritage for preserving its practice of uh, in which each child is given a unique tune called Jingwal Vivabe. So, this is in Khasi language. So, instead of name, each child has a tune and the mother calls the child with that tune. So, each child having a unique tune. So, this uh, was a good initiative taken but the problem which happened was that there are other 22 villages. So, in all there are 23 villages, not just one. So, other 22 villages were not amused. They say that they also have a similar practice of mothers composing a tune for a child until they attain a certain age to be called by normal names. 
so this is a unique practice which you should know about and the controversy has emerged presently on page 11 you have home ministry leads government wings to adoption in adoption of hindi so after amit shah took over 60% of the files in the language as against 10% earlier are now in hindi so renewed push is made in the power corridors in the second tenure of modi government to push for hindi language so this is there and below you have is india likely to ban single use plastic soon so there are 10000 tons of plastic waste which is left uncollected every day in india and now whether india would bring in a policy on single use plastic or not is awaited so second october an announcement may be made and presently for prime minister narendra modi's birthday service week will be marked so that is there on 17 september on international page you have hong kong witnesses pitched battles so this is regarding battle which took place between a scuffle which took place between pro china demonstrators and anti government protesters so police had to intervene in this matter so protests are now going on in hong kong there are two groups one pro china and other uh, you know anti government protests on business page you have speedy itc e refunds can boost exports so this is regarding input tax credit e refunds so the government has taken prompt and adequate measures to boost exports as we saw on the front page so this is going to benefit the industry is what is expected so quick reimbursement will ease fund crunch it was a long standing demand so such a software will now be put in place too so that is uh, appreciated then this is aadhar authentication must from jan 20 so this is gst network so goods and services tax network so it has been said that aadhar authentication will now be must because there is a need to ward off ghost traders and physical verification is an alternative exercise which will be done in 3 days this has been announced then on sundays you have this faq coverage frequently asked questions so three important issues over the week are picked up so here you have bengaluru we have a problem so this is regarding india's moon mission chandrayaan 2 mission the setback of vikram lander so that is covered up in this and second is what does ancient dna show about history so how do genetic patterns relate to archaeological evidence about india's past so this is covered in the context of harappan genome which has been sequenced which was in news and here the last news is why is the collegium of judges in the spotlight so this is regarding the transfer of chief justice of madras high court to meghalaya high court you now vk vijaya kamlesh tahil ramani so this uh, collegium system as such has come into news now it's a criticism on why such a demotion has been made apparent demotion so this issue is covered up here then on sundays you also have science and technology coverage so here it is iit madras finds an eco friendly way to degrade plastic so this is regarding iit madras strategy which has been initiated which can degrade several varieties of plastic like teflon polyethylene polypropylene so this is a significant development and here you have chip fingerprint technology for secure transactions so this is regarding how there is a need for secure transactions presently because with internet of things you know uh, it has uh, everything is connected so low cost security technology is essential so there are requirements of password and other such forms of encryption you know software based encryptions uh, so there is also need for security at the hardware level too. so those are software level encryptions which are there passwords which are there so hardware level in uh, security such you know like every device as such needs to be encrypted with a fingerprint like identity so this is known as physically unco- unclonable function so development of such a technology has been done by iit bombay researchers so that is discussed here and below you have climate change can reduce banana yield in india study finds and this is regarding a bacterial strain from iit bombay soil which removes pesticide so this bacteria uses carbile carbaryl for its growth so it removes pesticides so that has been discovered then on sundays you have dispatches coverage which is on international issues in news over the week so first one is argentina's shirtless ones rise up against hunger imf and austerity so in argentina the present president macri he seeks re-election but the country is battling social distress and an impossible public debt the concerns which are there in the south american country argentina covered here 
and this is regarding afghan no talking peace with a warring enemy so taliban is continuing with its attacks and uh, us was having talks with taliban but now the trump's move to call off talks with uh, taliban has been welcomed by the afghan forces and this is where non white people are not welcome to rent homes so this is in germany the housing market in german city stuttgart is loaded against foreigners migrants and refugees and this is regarding uh, jammu and kashmir issue as such so from mediation to help is what trump has spoken of regarding jammu and kashmir so the question which is posed is can us play a role in bringing india and pakistan to the negotiating table then on the last page you have mit engineers create blackest of all materials so this is massachusetts institute of technology engineers who have created a material that they claim is 10 times blacker than anything that had previously been reported so this is material created from carbon nanotubes so these are the important headlines for detailed coverage of current affairs you can visit our website asia.com thank you